Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another video. So today, 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 I am going to be showing you guys how to avoid patchy skin when using your foundation. So if you'd like to know what to do, how to do, when to do it, and if you have skin that looks like this or like this, keep on watching. So guys, first thing first, before we hop into this video, I'm going to explain to you why your skin gets like that. Number one, you don't hydrate your skin. Number two, you don't exfoliate your skin. Number three, you don't use a setting spray. Number four, you don't use a moisturizer. Number five, you don't use a primer. Number six, using the wrong foundation. I can go on and on, guys. But I think the main things, like if you want a flawless finish and your foundation is just not setting, I think you should go for the four main things. Make sure you use a hydrating primer. Make sure you use a hydrating moisturizer. Make sure you use a good foundation that does not dry your skin. So Estee Lauder, Lancome, Fenty, Elf. Um, there's so many foundations that are drying. Don't use those foundations. Number five, always... Not five. Number four, always use a setting spray. So you know what? I'm going to demonstrate everything on my skin. I actually have oily skin. But there was a girl whose name was Rachel. She actually requested this video. So Rachel, this video is for you. So if any of you other guys suffer from this and have really patchy skin, here's what I'm going to be doing for you guys. So guys, number one, you're going to want to moisturize. You know, this is my holy grail. I use this in almost all my videos. Just a teeny tiny drop. You don't want your face to ever be dry. A lot of people use bio oil. Bio oil is so, so, so good. Try that if you cannot afford like high-end brands and things like this. That's okay. You even use uh, rose water. Rose water also helps. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to prime. Make sure, once again, when you prime, do not use a primer that is dry. The same brands that I told you, Estee Lauder, Fenty, Lancome, Elf, Maybelline is not drying, but certain ones in Maybelline is drying. So that's like more on the affordable side, but they do have a range of products that can actually uh, counteract patchiness. Don't use too much primer because you don't want to end up looking like an oil bag. Now you want to go and... Now you want to go and rub this in your skin. You know, to let this set for like five seconds ten seconds around there just let it hydrate your skin let it breathe next go in with a face mist that is really hydrating this is the face mist blue lotus flower by scarlet hill for an actual change i actually like this i don't know how that managed to happen but i think it's because of the smell but it's also really hydrating it smells really, really good. It's not even a little bit drying. So you can see like the still leaves, it's residue and everything on the skin. Now that's how it just prevents patchiness on its own. Next guys, I'm going in with the Ramel foundation. This is long lasting, full coverage. It's mattifying, but it does not affect your face in terms of patchiness. That's what I actually like about it. So in terms of patchiness and things like that, even though it claims it's mattifying, it's actually not. Since it is a bit lighter for my skin tone, I'm just gonna go in and add a bit of a darker color foundation. So guys, when you're using a beauty blender, make sure it's damp. That also helps and prevents patchiness. As you 
you can see this product actually glides onto the skin and it mattifies but not so much that it's actually going to dry out your skin. So guys, this is what it actually turned out like. It's not drying, it's not mattifying. Now to seal it, we need some setting spray, but before I apply some setting spray, let me just go up and do my contouring and then I'm gonna be back. So guys, this is how it actually turned out. So what I'm gonna go and do is just use my face mist and just spray everything and lock it in together. hydrating enough eh? so now I'm just gonna take everything and seal it you will not have a problem with patching this if you follow these four steps of mine so guys that's it for me today thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with another amazing video I'm out guys